Buck Buck the Chicken. Buck Buck is not like other chickens. She does not eat corn. She does not live in a hen house, and she never lays any eggs. Buck Buck is Nancy Smith's pet. Nancy's father won her at the county fair. He guessed the number of jelly beans in a jar, and took Buck Buck home. Now Buck Buck lives on the Smith's front porch. Buck Buck. She says each time they come outside, that is how she got her name. Buck Buck likes to go for walks with the Smiths. She nods at every one they pass. Once she followed Mister Smith to his office, but the elevator man would not let her in. No chickens allowed, he said. Another time, Buck Buck followed Mrs. Smith to the dress store. A woman there thought she was a hat and wanted to try her on. That night, the Smiths had a talk with Nancy about Buck Buck. Why can't that chicken stay home and act more like a chicken? Asked Mr. Smith. Wouldn't you like a dog or a cat instead? Asked Mrs. Smith. But Nancy did not want a cat or a dog. Buck Buck is my best friend, she told her parents. Buck Buck lets Nancy swing her on the swings, put doll clothes on her, and take her for rides in the baby carriage. Coochie coochie coo, says Nancy. She tickles Buck Buck under her chin. Buck Buck blinks with joy. One day in July, Nancy and Buck Buck went to the park. Hi, said Leeds Martin. Can I see your baby? Buck Buck, said Buck Buck, flying out of the carriage. What a smart baby, Leeds said. Mine hasn't even started talking yet. Over the summer, Nancy Smith's friends got to know Buck Buck. She went on picnics with them. She went swimming at the town pool. One Saturday in August, Nancy and Billy Gray took Buck Buck to the movies. During the scary parts, Buck Buck hid under the seat. Buck Buck is a chicken. Billy said to Nancy, "Don't you dare call my chicken chicken!" cried Nancy. When fall came, Nancy had to go back to school. "Be a good chicken while I'm gone," she said, waving goodbye to Buck Buck. Buck Buck nodded, but later, when Mrs. Smith went jogging, Buck Buck followed her for miles. When Buck Buck got tired, she flew onto Mrs. Smith's head. Mrs. Smith could not jog with a chicken on her head, so she and Buck Buck went home. That chicken is bored," said Mrs. Smith at dinner. "Maybe she needs to peck in the dirt like other chickens." "Great idea," said Mr. Smith. And he took Buck Buck with him into the garden. All evening long, he hoed and raked while Buck Buck ate the weeds. But the next day, when nobody was home, Buck Buck went gardening by herself. That was the end of the vegetables. Maybe she's just young," said Mrs. Smith. Let's give her another chance. Goody," said Nancy Smith. "That means she can come to my birthday party. She had better behave," said Mrs. Smith. When it was time for the birthday party, Nancy and Buck Buck decorated the front porch. Buck Buck loved the balloons.
She popped every one. What's all that noise? Asked Mr. Smith. I didn't hear anything," said Nancy. She and Buck Buck put on their party hats and waited for the kids to come. The first was Joy James. He knew Buck Buck, but his mother had never seen her. Buck Buck ran to meet them. Buck Buck, Buck Buck, she said, flying up and down. Attack chicken! Attack chicken! Yelled Mrs. James. She hid behind a tree. Mister and Missus Smith ran outside. As soon as Buck Buck saw them, she hid behind a tree too. Please forgive our chicken," said Missus Smith to Missus James. "This is her first birthday party." When all the kids arrived, there was ice cream and cake. Then they played musical chairs. Buck Buck wanted to play too. She flew from chair to chair, and would not let anyone sit down. During hide and seek, Buck Buck gave away all the hiding places. Then everyone played pin the tail on the donkey. Buck Buck pulled the tail off the donkey. I forgot to tell her the rules," said Nancy. "I'm sorry," Mr. Smith said. "That chicken has been bad once too often," and he locked Buck Buck out of the house. There was nothing more Nancy could say. She opened her presents. Then everyone watched cartons on the Smith's VCR. Buck Buck. Buck Buck called Buck Buck from the porch. She made so much noise that Mr. Smith closed the windows. Now it was quiet, but when the birthday party was over, Buck Buck was gone. I want my Buck Buck! cried Nancy. We hurt her feelings, said Mrs. Smith. The Smiths looked all around. No one had seen Buck Buck at the supermarket, the firehouse, the laundry, or the police station. But everyone wanted to help. Soon, people were walking all over town looking for Nancy's chicken. But when it got dark, Buck Buck was still missing. The Smiths were very sad. They sat together on the porch steps, talking about Buck Buck. Maybe I was too hard on her," said Mister Smith. "She didn't know any better," said Missus Smith. "Buck Buck was my best friend," said Nancy. "She always knew what to say to me." Buck Buck, did you hear that? Asked Mister Smith. Buck Buck, what was it? Asked Missus Smith. Buck Buck, it's Buck Buck! Yelled Nancy. Sure enough, Buck Buck had come home. She was sitting in a rocking chair. Her feet were tucked under her. When the Smith patted her, she stood up and flapped her wings. Something white gleamed in the darkness. Buck Buck had laid her first egg. That's one smart chicken," said Mister Smith proudly. Buck Buck agreed. Buck Buck. From that time on, nobody had to tell Buck Buck to act more like a chicken. She made a nest in the rocking chair. She laid her egg in it every night. In the winter, the Smiths built Buck Buck a house of her own. There were two rocking chairs inside.
One was for Buck Buck's nest. The other was the chair Nancy Smith sat in every afternoon when she came to visit.